What's going on people, it's KC from www.kc-sounds.com Today's video is an automation video. I'm gonna show you how to use automation to control certain parameters of your VST plugins and I'm also gonna show you how to use filter to make transitions in your beat so it's a, it's a bit more exciting to give your, your beat some interest. So first of all, got this beat here that I produced for an artist in the US should be coming out soon and um, there's this synth part that I'm going to show you how I manipulated the uh, different parts in it you can use this as well in your beats so for example so you've got now there's two ways of doing it you can either go into uh, automation by pressing A and then look for the synth and look for the different controls once you find your synth so you can go in and choose which one you want to you want to um, automate but you can see the list is way too long and it's just going to be complicated because you might not even know what you're doing so I, will, I wouldn't even try and do it that way so what I do normally is put it into latch mode so there's different modes you can use in automation there's touch latch touch and latch and I like to use latch because I find it easier I'll just quickly explain what the two different uh, the differences between them touch allows you to make your automation moves and it, it will go back to the, the original spot latch it will allow you to make your automation moves and it will then stay in the same place that you left it hope that makes sense if it doesn't I'll just quickly show you so for example, I'm just going to change the volume and I'll show you what touch does. So you can see as I let go of the fader, it just drops straight back to the point that it originally started from. I don't like, I don't like using that one. Just quickly show you latch. So you can see latch leaves the fader or whatever knob it was that you're using it will just stay in that same place that you've left it which for me is a bit more it's a bit easier for me so i just want to show you how you can manipulate your different sounds or parameters in your synth i'm going to change this section here i think no no delay and maybe mess around with the cut of filter and see what that does So as you can see I've changed a few things and I'll take it out of latch mode, put it into read so when I play it back now, it will just logic will just play it for, for me. If you keep it on latch and you do something different, it's gonna think that you're still trying to make new automation moves. So this is what it sounds like with the beat. No, without I'll play it without the beat first so you can hear it. Hear what I've done. I like the filter cut off, I think that sounds good. I'm also going to show you how you can use a filter cut off to make transitions in your beat afterwards. But um, let me just play this now quickly with the beat and see how that sounds. Okay, 
it sounds okay, but I think there's a bit loud. And the delay's a bit too much. So I'm just gonna take that off all together. And um, what I also like to do as well is uh, just to make my curves a bit neat. I don't know if that's just me doing too much, but I like to just neaten up, take out all the different uh, dots or nodes, whatever, not, nodes, whatever you want to call them. And then I press T and W and make a curve. And then double T or T twice. And just click on one point and then drag to the point that you want it to be. And then T, W and a little curve. You can do all sorts of curves. This is your artwork so you can do whatever you want to do make it make it your own going on I don't know if you can hear it the logic is acting up a bit anyway so let's move on you can see how automation works uh, for using your different parts of sims like I said it's easier just to go to uh, latch mode or touch mode if you prefer to use that one to, to find the, par the parameter of the sim that you're trying to um, manipulate and automate instead of going to the actual controls which is all that whole list yeah, it's just going to take too long i think it's too complicated don't make it don't make it complicated make it easy for yourself so now i'm going to show you how to use the one knob filter from waves so you can make transitions from one part of your beat to the next by just filtering out the top end so first of all what i'm going to do is put it into latch latch mode and then actually make sure that one of filter is all the way up to 10 then we drop the turn latch mode on turn on the one knob filter and then from bar four I'm gonna gradually take off the top end of the of the beat and then bring it back in on bar nine You can see that was a bit early. What I've done there, which is minor. Because <clears throat> point to read mode, so Logic knows what to do. And then we put the display on, so we can see what we've done. So I'm going to take it from about that point there, which is my second bar. Doesn't really matter. So wherever you feel to put it, that will work for you. And we want it to come back in bar nine. So we just make line it up with bar nine bring that across and as per usual we're gonna make a curve make this curve slightly slightly different this time and then let's listen to it Yeah, that's how you use automation for transitions and different parts of your beats. There's a there's there's a ton of stuff that you can do to make make your beat interesting from different parts and different um, different parts of your beats. So what I've done there is showing you how to use automation to manipulate certain parameters of your synths and also how to use automation to for your filter cutoffs. So just to make your beat a bit more interesting. 
I hope the video has helped. I hope you've got something from it. If there's something you didn't understand, just drop me a comment. I'll get back to you ASAP. I hope you got something from this video. Hit the like button if it helped. Just hit subscribe so you can keep up to date with stuff that I'm doing. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Music is life. Peace.